Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get a lobby bot in Fortnite, and this will let you get every single unreleased skin, OG skins, emotes, and pretty much anything in the entire game. And this lobby bot will work on mobile, console, PC, on pretty much any platform that can run Fortnite. And the only two things you're going to need is of course Fortnite and you're going to need Discord. So before I show you guys how to get the lobby bot, if you guys have not already, make sure you guys leave a like on the video. Let's try to get 150 likes on this video, that'd be pretty amazing. And if you guys are new, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications so you get notified every single time that a new lobby bot method is made or a new private server or any other videos like that. So to get the lobby bot, you're going to have to join our Discord server, and the link for this will be in the description. And then once you're in the Discord server, scroll down and go on over to Create Atomic. And this is the channel that we're going to be using. So it should have a message similar to this. So what you want to do is you want to type in A exclamation point start. And then once you've done that, just press enter. And then once you've done that, wait about 5 seconds and it will DM you. So send you a direct message up here. So once it's DM'd you, just click on the logo, of course, and you'll see it in your DMs. So it'll send you a message that looks like this. So the first thing you want to do is you want to click on the first link right here. And this is just going to take you to epicgames.com. And this is where you can log in to an account. So for this, you want to make sure you have an alt account logged in here. Do not use your main. Make sure you have an alt account logged in in the top right. If you don't have an alt account, make sure you create one because you're going to need it for this. And since you're making it with an alt account, you can name it whatever you want. It's not going to be like the other lobby bots that are like Recon Bot 5 or something. You can name it whatever you want. So mine just named this, so we're going to leave it like that. So once you've done that, you want to come back here, and then you want to click right here on this button. And what this is going to do is it's going to log into your alt account. So make sure you have your alt account's name down here and not your main account. Um, and if you do accidentally log in with your main account, you can just simply change the password and that will fix everything. So just make sure you have your alt account down here and they just want to click on confirm. And it's just going to log you into the bot. And then once you've done that, just click on this button right here, the green check. And then if you did everything correctly, you'll get a pop-up that looks like this. And it'll say that your lobby bot is ready. And it'll tell you it's friends, the amount of online friends, the amount of offline friends. And you'll get this bot for one hour. And then once the one hour has passed, you can create it again if you want. The next thing that you want to do is you want to go onto your console, mobile device, or PC, or whatever you're playing Fortnite on, and you want to friend the alt account. So my alt account is called Brutus Eats Kids, so I'm just going to friend this account by going to Fortnite, going to Add Friends, and then typing in his name. And again, this will work on consoles as well. So just go over here and then click on Add Friend, and then it'll automatically send a friend request back to you and accept your friend request. So just give it a second and there you go, it has accepted my friend request. So once it's accepted your friend request, you'll see it in your friends menu like I am and it'll have a status that says Atomic Bot. And then what you want to do is click on it and then you can click on invite to party. And this will make it join your party. So now go back to Discord, it'll have a pop-up, would you like to accept it? Click on yes. And this will prevent random people from joining your party that you don't want to join your party. So if you do that, it will join the party and then you will also be the party leader. So what you want to do now is you want to click on it, click on manage, and then click on make party leader. And this is only if you want to make it better for trolling. In my opinion, this is probably the best way to do it. So what you want to do is type in a hide, and then this will hide all the party members and make it look like you are the actual bot. So this is perfect for like TikToks, YouTube videos, whatever you want to do with the bot to get unreleased skins on. This is probably the best way to do it by hiding the other players in the lobby. So now you've done this, you can start to do the actual commands of the bot. So what we're going to do is we're going to get all the commands. So if you want to see the list of commands, type in a help. And this will pop up a list of all the commands. So on the first page, these are all the commands that you can use to control the lobby bot itself. And on the second page, these are all the things that you can do to control the discord bot. And this will just send like the news your stats of a person's player, um, the item shop, and some other stuff. So you don't really need to worry about these right now. This is the commands that you can use on the lobby bot. So the first command is going to be the skin command. So you're going to do a skin. So you do skin, and they type in cluck. Change to the cluck skin. So you'll see it'll do a pop-up with a picture and the name cluck. And then in the game, it has changed to cluck. So then if you want to change your emote, same exact thing, but you do it with the emote. So we're going to do emote, laugh it up. 
and then the bot will be doing the laugh it up emote so if we go back into fortnite the bot is now doing the laugh it up emote and this will last for about a minute so the next thing you want to do is you can do the backpack pickaxe and level so we're gonna do the backpack so if you do a backpack and then the name of the backpack so ghost portal this one will change it to the ghost portal backpack right here and you can't see it right now but if you did an emote that made him turn around you'd see the ghost portal and then you can change the pickaxe and level i'm not going to change the pickaxe right now because you can't really see it in lobby unless you do a specific emote but you guys can try that if you really want to change the pickaxe so for the level you can do a level and then change it to 100 and that will change it to the level to 100 so you guys can see that the level is now 100 up here and then if you want specific variants specific styles for skin like let's say that we want specific styles for cluck you're going to do a style and then you're going to type in the name so a style cluck and then what this is going to do is going to print out all of these styles for the cluck emote so we got three different styles the default the explosive and the slurpee so let's say we want to do equip the slurpee you would type in three you just type in whatever number it tells you to type for three so if you want to equip the slurpee you're going to type in three and then click on enter and they'll change the variant to the slurpee variant so now if you go back into fortnite you'll see that we have the slurpee variant of the cluck skin and this also works with gold styles such as the gold lara croft skin so if you type in four this will give you the golden lara croft so that's how you change all the styles for everybody who's always asking the discord this is probably the best way to change your styles is by doing the a style command and then you can change up all your styles so the next one is going to be the ready command and this is going to make the bot look like it's ready you cannot actually go into matches as the bot but you can make it appear as if it's ready so if you want to make it appear as if it's ready you're going to do a ready and this is going to set the bot to ready so you can see that it is now appearing as if it's ready so that's pretty cool and if you want to unready it just do the exact same thing unready so now the bot is unready so the next command is going to be the say command so this is another command that a lot of people are asking about so if you want to say something in the party chat down here all you have to do is you want to type in a say and then you can just type in whatever you want so i'll just say like subscribe and then if you type that and you go back into Fortnite, it'll say subscribe down here. So the bot just said something in the party chat. This is really good for like, trolling your friends if you want to make the bot say random stuff in party chat. It's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's how you do that. So the final one is going to be the match command and the unmatch command. So if you want to make the bot seem like it's in a match, you want to type in a match. And then you want to type in the amount of players that you want to be remaining. Let's say we wanted like 69 players remaining. We just type in a match 69 like this. And then the bot will appear like it's in a match with 69 people remaining. And then finally, if you want to cancel your bot, you're just going to type in a stop. And then this will cancel your bot entirely. And you can create a new bot again with a start. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure you guys drop a like if you're not already. And I'll see you guys in the next one.